by the, you know, very popular for a reason, Harblue. Brunto now, right now, showing a Roadhog look from Rob. Very popular these days for your flex support to be picking up the Roadhog no as well. Today. And no TT, Cameron is going to be subbing in for the main tank instead. So Gladiators Legion, like their old selves, they like what they like. Consistency is the name of the game. Water on Brigida, the rest of Gladiators Legion falling in line oh, with the GOATS composition, but that's one less member going to be playing GOATS courtesy of Wub. Love seeing all this Widowmaker, this long distance damage coming back into the game. Well, and, and I just, the fact that you just take so much damage just walking to the point that someone like Harblue can get one right click and burn that kill. It's not all about getting one shot, one kill in the head, though that's really, really nice. If you're able you know, to pepper in that damage, get some of the squishies low, they're going to have to wait anyway to come back onto the objective and you're just biding time for your opponent. So Grunto Esports starting off, I mean, and that's how you want to start, right? You, you the, the point of Opens and all of a sudden you get a widow headshot. That's what you call momentum. Let's see if Grunto Esports are going to be able to continue it as Gladiators Legion definitely have the experience on at their side. But honestly, Grunto comes in with a ton of contenders' experience as well. Gladiators Legion withstand one instead of Panker. Panker no longer on at the team. Stand one has been the hero for them in the past. He might in the present. Or to be that person on Arissa, though it is possible. But Wub, a lub dub. He is. Killing it right now. I'm loving this wub. So good, so crisp. <laughs> and the unfortunate thing for Gladiators Legion is a lot of times, you know, you see your opponents run out on goats, you're going to run out on goats too. But when you're trying to push with an Orisa, even with the potential crossfire between Dalton and Water, you have so much less space. Grunto knows where you're going to come from. You have to establish that space in order to set up these crossfires. And Grunto's DPS can predict exactly where you're going to be peeking your head out of. There's only so many spots here. And you can tell that's exactly what they're doing right now, bursting gladiators down before they can get to cover, forcing them to take even more time to go back up. The Dragon Strike goes through, and it's going to take down Rolf. Dalton, though, finally taking Wub out of this game. It's been a while, but Dalton finally taken his counterpart out. Wub has been raining bullets from above, and now Water going to go ahead and use that Stormbow to force the people out of the objective. Gladiators still haven't found their you know, footing on the objective proper is definitely going to help when a Dragon Strike is going through it and taking your Roadhog down so very low. Rob Dab, though, going to get a kill onto the Sovereign. He's not going to go down without a fight. Gladiators Legion, though, is going to end up flipping this point. Now their Arisa is going to find themselves in a much better position. Yeah, you definitely want to be the defender when you're playing an Orisa comp. It's so much more comfortable. You can fire from afar, set up some of those halt combos with the rest of your team. And Gladiators Legion, now that they have a meal up to the EMP, can hold this point for much, much no, longer. Nice. Grunto Esports is going to need an all-out attack in order to force Gladiators out from this point. They have Blizzard, they have Whole Hog. The Maywall blocking the oink and yoink there. The Hulk and Hook, if you will. More kills, though, coming out of Grunto. It's a Four for them. This is a really great opportunity. Water trying to take down this Widowmaker, but that's not going to happen because he's going to get pulled. Water not going to be able to do anything, and he's going to get taken down. Such great long distance single target damage coming in from Grunto. Using this comp much better than I think Gladiators Legion were using their long distance damage. Dalton and Water, I don't believe, played as good as you know their counterparts on the other side, Wub and Salty. Uh, no, and Rob Dab adding so much value to the field with his picky body right here. Just <laughs> you have a ton of point pressure, right? That's always the you know gamble that you're taking when you run a Sombra is that she doesn't really stay in one place for long. She doesn't hold a point, right? In and out, she's flitting around, trying to find hacks, trying to find damage. But when you have a Roadhog on the field, you could have lost 60% of your members. But if your Hog's around, if he has Hold Hog, if he's good with his hooks, he can one-shot kill somebody, clear a point with his ultimate. So some really good value found by Grunto in that last fight. And they're going to be rolling out with the Orisa. Hanzo Widow once again. Only change, a Zenyatta this time around rather than a Roadhog, not terrible. <laughs> Hard Blue hasn't had a ton of value on this May, um, but if nothing else, he can also apply some point pressure by zoning with the Blizzard. 
And what that Blitzer does is just takes away some of that field and it makes Fronto have an easier time knowing exactly where they need to play. Just not in the Blizzard. It's going to give them a little bit better angles. It's going to force Gladiator's Legion. It's going to be that they I mean, might us necessarily want to rotate around. Dalton still trying to find some good picks. Salty going to get his Widowmaker on the other side. He's going to fall anyway. Two kills going each way. Rob Dad going to find another one. Rez is going both ways. So this is pretty even so far. Grinto Esports. Oh, hello. Wub going to find that pick. He is, you know, he, he, I would say he's better than moderately good right now. <laughs> I, I would say so. You can tell when somebody's really feeling the Widowmaker and he is on a hot streak. Gladiators Legion just have not been winning fights, either in the team battle or the head-to-head -head duels, which is the unfortunate part. So they are going to swap things up, I would say, very wisely. This is a good time for you to swap things up so you can have a chance to use ultimates later on in this fight. Water now on his wanted Genji Dalton on the Tracer. Stand one, trying to be a hero, knocking some people off on the high ground with a Goomba stop, but unable to do it. And I love seeing Dalton on it, the Tracer. In my opinion, should have been on the Tracer the whole time, if necessary, because the Tracer has been divine in the past. Dragon Strike, they're going to take water onto this Genji out. That's very interesting, if I say so myself. Zola going to get another kill. Grunto Esports only using, the, using their Orisa. Dalton, though, is still alive. It's part of the reason why, you know, Dalton on the Tracer can't work and why it might not. It does actually force the Transcendence out of Grunto Esports. So Rob, that feeling the pressure from Dalton. But the one thing about Tracer is unless you one-click, you're not going to get a ton of kills off of it. You're just going to take a lot of attention away. And if you're not confirming those kills, what are you offering? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can play Tracer. There's tank busting tracers, there's dueling tracers, there's squat and high tracers like soon in the days of old, but Dalton right there, he was so alone. The rest of his team had died. There was really no way for him to confirm any kills outside of landing that pulse bomb. So it's a lot of free time wasted and free point percentage for Grunto here. And again, Stand one, the first one down. Grunto Esports have been focusing the main tank of Legion so well, but he's also been giving them a lot of favors by overextending. Yeah, Wub has taken a lot of the map away from Gladiator's Legion. You've got a hot Widow. Every time you're not behind any part of the environment, you are vulnerable to the Widow. Is Harblue going to be freezing up that? Naya Meal's not going to be doing much. And I think one of the most revealing things about this map so far is the fact that we haven't actually mentioned Gladiator's Legion really at all. Mm -hmm. It was so dominant by Grunto Esports. They're... They're looking good, man. If what yes. continues to play like that, this one might be a little further away than we might expect because Grunto killed it that round. <laughs> and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to undersell this at all. Yeah. That was the best I had seen Grunto played. Wub was killing it on this Widow. Harblu literally didn't really have to do anything. Uh, Harblu you know, he's he's such a great Zarya and he's such an integral part of the Grunto team, but as, as if he was getting overshadowed by his own teammates, essentially, Wub putting on the sniper shenanigans right here. So good. And you can see the coordination again between him and the rest of his team. This is one of the reasons why Phase 2 won against Bermuda in our first series of today. It's Wub's getting pressured. He takes a pot shot, doesn't manage to finish the kill, but Rob's there. Rob knows what is, you know, pressuring Wub, and he able to throw in that hook, throw in that last bit of damage to find that kill. And right now, Gladiator's Legion looking completely bamboozled by what Grunto is bringing to the table. I mean, it's hard enough to, you know, just play vanilla Overwatch and stay alive yourself, but when you add that extra layer of synergy and teamwork against a composition you're, you know, not used to, it's ten times, a hundred thousand times harder. What you just saw on the screen is like kind of what Gladiator's Legion had to live through over and over, just nothing working. You know, Dalton had some nice plays on at the Tracer, and even here with the reses and the trades, in the end, Love is the one that gets a kill. Right, he he sees it in the combination of Salty providing vision where it's necessary. When Wub is getting someone down, the focus is on Wub, and then who was in the you know who's right in front of their face that they didn't see was Rob Dab. You know, with this little piggy hooking you in the face, right? <laughs> and uh, that that's some really cool team play. And right now, Grunto to me looking like a top two, top three team right here. So Gladiators Legion need to find a little bit of something on this next map on Assault.
And as we watch from Dalton's POV right there, trying so hard, working so hard as this Tracer, it's not as though you don't have other mobile heroes on the field. You have a Genji, you had uh, you know, Emil on the D.Va right here, but he was playing Sombra earlier. Those two heroes, very good at sneaking up and ganking individual heroes, right? You, If you put somebody in a 2v1, it doesn't matter if you're Jonak, you're probably going to lose that fight. But Gladiator's Legion could just never find those opportunities, right? It was always one person trying to do their best rather than the six players working together. Well, and I think like the biggest difference between how we were saying, you got to be intentional, you like, can't get picked off. The thing about this one that was different was Wub was the one making the plays. It wasn't necessarily Gladiator's Legion, like having, you know, mental mistakes or, or mm -hmm. if you're peaking and Wub's getting that many kills, then yeah, there's a little bit of that. But really, I want to credit Wub for just being a playmaker in that situation. And this is actually really bad news for Gladiator's Legion because do you want to hear a pretty crazy statistic? <laughs> I, I know what this statistic is, but yes. The only assault map that they have won in the last two seasons of Contenders is Hanamura. They have been winless on every single assault map. In the last eight tries, they've yeah. been on an assault map. The only one that finding victory is Hanamura, which they've done two times. The rest, they're all winless on over mm -hmm. the last eight times they've been on assault. So what we can expect here is potentially Gladiator's Legion struggling a little bit because they have struggled to capture point A on these assault points before. Mm -hmm. And this is when that teamwork really oh needs goodness. to shine and a bit of that teamwork coming in hot for Grunto Esports Club again. Oh man, like he's incredibly skilled, but to have that, you know, ability to execute the combo speaks to, you know, how well Grunto is working together with a new main tank. TT not in Cameron picking up that mantle instead. Oh, Neil getting a really clutch hack on it to the Arisa Gladiators Legion finally finding their footing here as the Legion are gonna get point A really quickly. I think there is just too much focus on what getting that pick and then the rest just kind of fell through for Grunto Esports. The Gladiator's Legion, Emil in the back line, I don't know if you you noticed it, but the Hanzo was forced to use Sonic Arrow on himself to try to pick out where the Sombra was on the other side. It wasn't available for everyone else, and then the hack comes through, Gladiator's Legion taken. Yeah, good play from Emil here. He was definitely cold with the Sombra on Busan, but here on Volskaya, where people aren't really going to be moving around, not too squirrely, you can really set up for those big EMP combos as of right now. Just making sure that he has an escape route. Only 50% up to that EMP, so Brunto have you know a stay of execution. They have some time to get up to those ultimates themselves. Rob now back on the hug. Right, the hog's gonna find a kill, so is Salty. This defense is potentially dead in the water with these spawns. That Dalton kill is not really that big of a deal, especially if Zolik can res it if he so chooses. Grunto Esports have quelled the Gladiator's Legion offense for the time being, but they still have pretty much six minutes left to try to capture the second point. Yeah, Legion can comfortably wait for Emil's EMP to come back on before making a real hard push here. Right now, they can just test, see if they can crack the shield, see if they can find a lucky pick up until the point when the EMP comes in not really a need to invest any ultimate without oh but there we go there's the pick the pick comes through a hall into a volley it's gonna take Cameron out of the game salty will follow next after water storm bow and he's finally coming online too this is exactly what you need if you are gladiators lead player or fan this is when you want to see them come up on the top club gonna make things a little interesting get a nice headshot onto Sombra. that always feels good but really this has been all legion so far who needs Statistics. This is a great opportunity for them to win at this map. They do have to get the defense on the second round. And right now, they're on the you know, pace. It feels like it so far with over five minutes left, and they're in control. Oh, and nobody to take advantage of that blizzard. Moira shot down by Dalton in the split second, and Legion, despite that loss on control, Fighting back on Voskaya with style. Love the patience. And again, you know, maybe if that pick coming in from the Zen hadn't happened, you know, we could see a different map. But as it stands, taking advantage of that window of opportunity that presented itself and Grunto was just unprepared. Really good stuff from Legion here. It was looking pretty dire on control for any Legion fans, but they are absolutely not out of this game.
No, and they they had the momentum on their side this time around. They got stomped in control, and they just stomped Grunto mm -hmm. on their defensive side. So on the attacking side, what Grunto needs to do is match that pace, or at least try to do it. Capturing the first point on the first try is a good place to start. So I'm interested to see if they're going to run any Sombra, because when you run Sombra, even though Emil was able to do it, it is a risk. It could take a little while to get you online. It could take a little while to get that hack in. Mm -hmm. And by that time, the other team might have already gotten hit. Yeah, it's very possible. I'm one of the big reasons why Legion had such a hard time on Busan was that Emil wasn't really getting any value with that Sombra. They ran it so many times and we didn't see any big EMP fight wins. We didn't see any crucial hacks come in uh, versus on Volskaya where they used it with great effect. So that's the difference between there and Volskaya, despite the fact that they're Gladiators Legion are running the very same team comp. Grunto, though, they still have quite a bit of time to decide what they want to run exactly. We haven't seen Salty on the Sombra as much. He's an excellent D.Va player, but this is a really good tool to have in your back pocket. EMP, while not a fight winner, such a good tool. If you could just threaten EMP, a lot of times you can spook a Transcendence out from a Zen. You can, you know, dictate the pace at which your opponent uses ult. Well, the other thing is, the Salty's not just a great diva. He's been playing a mean Hanzo as well. That Hanzo on Busan was was pretty good. It was a little outshined by Whoop's Widowmaker. Maybe just because we got to see that a little bit more because Salty was coming in with some kills, but they're going to go ahead and adjust, run something that we're all familiar with, which is good. But this time, it's going to have a little bit more mobility with that Winston. Cameron on the attacking Winston. Really interesting. We don't see attack Winston as much here on both sides. We see it on defense fairly often. Big dive in, supported by the rest of his team, though, and Raw gets the pick onto Emil. Talk about a backline cracker. Did you see that mid-air water hit right there? That was pretty good, but Cameron gonna show up as well. Two kills for them, and we said it. That's the first box checked. If you want to maintain the same piece as Legion, you gotta take the first point in one try, and it's exactly what they do. One dive, it's all it takes. Man, Grunto Esports, I mean, you would feel like they, the way that they won that first fight, you would feel as though they invented, you know, a comp that's never been seen before by the eyes of Overwatch, but Legion was just not really prepared. We didn't see an anti date come through. I don't know where Emil was, but he wasn't getting a ton of value from this Sombra, only 50% now, when his team desperately needs an ultimate to even things up. Oh, Cameron's getting a little ahead of himself. 26 oh. HP, now down at 2 is 0. I think they wanted to get the jump on them from a spawn as Gladiator season were a little bit slow rolling, but Cameron got a little too far away from his team had to escape, and with your chase and a health pack, you know, you can see that there's someone behind you that's going to take that last 25 HP away from you. And remember, Cameron's in place of DT, so this Grunto Esports team isn't technically running with their A team right now. Uh, he hasn't been playing so far, but Cameron has has been playing pretty solidly. We haven't been saying his name up until that moment when he made, you know, it was, it was a little egregious in that moment in time. But really, these two teams playing evenly here on Volskaya so far. But to Esports, if they take it on at this, on this attack, they're going to be able to potentially be Gladiator's Legion's time as the EMP comes out from Emil. Two members are hacked. Cameron and Wub, but the Transcendence is going to keep them alive, but that means there's not going to be a Transcendence for the Graviton Surge is coming out from Dalton Win it. They need it, but Sam Watt is going to fall before it comes through. Let's see if the Graviton Surge is going to be all that they need. Bullock is down. Somehow, even though Grunto doesn't have the counter to those ultimates, they're finding themselves on top. That self-destruct kill could end it for Gladiator's Legion. This is at least two ticks. Now it's all about Stall coming in. Stall for Legion. Clean up for Grunto. Big shatter from Sanwan. Only catches Glove and he is down. That's going to be enough though to force the rest of Grunto back. Harbu wants to maintain what energy that he has. He needs a really quick retreat. But what a well-placed bomb from Salty. I mean, to toss it just over the ledge to catch everybody in the back of the grab. They won't, wouldn't be expecting it to come from that side, of course. Gladiators Legion do hold for now. Emil has swapped back onto the Diva. I would say a wise choice. Again, not getting a ton of value from the EMP. It was countered very well by Grunto. So it's going to be back to that mirror match. Sound barrier used a little offensively, and I think for good reason. The Earthshatter is going to hit everything. That's a shield, but Gladiators Legion, though, is going to be far.
fallen by the wayside. The sound major was ripped. The lawnmower started, and Grunto Esports chopped them all up. Gladiators need are going to be losing out here. The time banks are pretty similar. Grunto Esports doing exactly what they need to do to keep this even. And now it's still anyone's game. The momentum is even. Who has the tempo? Who has it? And who's owning it right now? 30 second difference is really not that much. It's one fight, maybe. A lot of these teams have been taking 30 seconds to decide if they want to fight. So Yeah, or what comp they want to fight with. <laughs> exactly. So let's see if this 30 seconds comes into play a little bit later. But both teams having about this, you know, Gladiators Legion have more time and Grunto Esports having six seconds left of what you're given at the beginning of the round anyway. Yeah, not bad at all. Two of them really neck and neck here on Volskaya. Gladiators Legion going to be salivating for the first ever assault win in ages. They want it so bad, but they need more than a powerful offense. You've said it 67 times. I'm going to say it the 68th time. Defense is really what separates the best teams from the good teams. And Legion now need to put up one hell of a defense. Four minutes, 24 seconds for Grunto to try and see if they can complete this map again. Emil on the Sombra once more worked very well on defense for Gladiators Legion, but we actually didn't see a ton of action from Rolf, who is one of our original OG Anas, actually Cuba having a bit of a, yep, yeah. a potential head-to-head -head battle with his compatriot Rob Dab, also one of the very first Anas ever since released to pick up that hero so it's a shame Grunto not going to go with the Ana look at least for now but hopefully we see a bit more from Wolf you know in the first series of today with phase two's Nishik we've seen how a great Ana can really impact each of these fights turn things around when things are looking most dire and you know add just that little bit of encouragement to tip the fight into your own team's favor really powerful hero yep and we see the halt coming out from gladiators legion that's another ability it's honestly i think one of the hardest abilities to use in the entire game there's so many scenarios to use it and cameron's gonna go ahead and assert his dominance a little bit what well, gonna get a pick onto a meal it's, it's it's becoming very clear when teams are running sombra because she's good as opposed to running sombra because they can play her very well to a high level emil in the past has gotten there but today i would probably just adjust out of it it's not really been working out for him just you know yet on any of the two rounds he, he had a good hack on the last round of most guy but that's really been it i love these changes so far and this is one of those changes though that it's not really going to matter that much because grunto went up so quickly all they had for transits are going to walk into the second point a lot of people are going to be taking damage rob dad going to get a deke up to a head of adults of a stand one going to take another casualty with him so it's 5v5 on at this point the reinhardts are going to meet each other emil finding another pick gladiators legion are going to stop this offense from grunto esports grunto loving the this hyper aggressive style, I'm loving it honestly because Gladiators Legion has honestly struggled with that type of play style in the past. They love to dance, they love, you know, crossing their T's, dotting their I's, and when they're unable to do that, then it's been a struggle for them. Mm -hmm. Ever since Stand One has joined the team, Gladiators Legion look a little bit more willing to engage aggressively, uh, panker their Gladiators Legion's old tank. You know, certainly liked playing a very calculated game, and that sometimes came back to bite them against very aggressive teams like Grunto. But now that Stand One's on the team, he is able to give just as good as he gets, and now he's going to have the shatter online. And this single ultimate in the hands of Stand One could be the difference. He's going to go ahead and get it. Ooh, it's not going to be easy. This time, the Graviton third, though, not going to be helping find any more kills. The Earth Shatter going to counter that. Two members on the ground and the support. Pronto Esports, though, going to run out of that Transcendence, and all they're going to have is some self destruct. Will the Sabayer come online? The self destruct does catch the Lucio. This seems to happen all the time for some reason. Gladiators Legion now functioning with five members. A meal now is going to make it four. Water's potentially going to make it three. He's going to be able to get the rally off, and you've seen that water use rally in Legion to find themselves in a situation where they absolutely need it to hold, and they're actually going to be doing it. Gladiators are going to be pushing Grunto Esports off to the point for the time at the the kills are still coming for Grunto Esports, and they are primed to be taking this point. They want to do it over a minute, make that a statement. Gladiators Esports are going to have to work after that. If they are able to do it, Grunto Esports are going to call victim to the stall. The Gladiators Legion are already throwing at them. It's a stall because Waters on Doofus. You don't see that character unless you are stalling. Same thing with Stand 1, particularly on this map with that Hammond. And as of right now, Gladiators Legion doing a really great time, just taking time off of the clock. Grunto Esports unable to actually 
up the point. Yeah, and Bob now will actually pick up Wub, who is on his own emergency due to this. And what looked like a maze and fight for Grunto slowly becoming more and more hazardous. However, the sound barrier from Zolik does save the team. And now the three members fighting against a couple of triples left from the Legion defense. Looks like they will succeed and finish out the core. Point. Nice stall. That was a great stall. Very good stall. And stand one, a big part of that, actually, between stand one and, uh, you know, a meal, you could tell that they were taking advantage of the fact that Brunto was running a Winston early on. Winston provides a ton of mobility, but does leave your backline a little bit more vulnerable. There's no static shield standing in front of them all the time. And so, you know, even in those desperation stalling moments, stand one on the Hammond, you see him pile drive into the back and target Rob dab be sure to take that zenyatta down because you're not going to be in all likelihood you're not going to be bursting a reinhardt into the ground in just a couple of seconds but you do have the opportunity to kill their sources of healing so good target prioritization from legion to, you know keep things as even as they were grunto is running something that you really like my friends and that is gonna be clockwork. Grunto Esports. Oh, there is a Zenyatta, but the May and the Torb and the Arissa, that's all kind of like close. A, Near you I, a, you need a hog, but it's yeah. It's like it's 96 Rob degrees. Can play hog, so I'm a little surprised that they're not gonna go ahead and just run the full thing. Maybe, hog, hog, hog. Maybe favoring <laughs> the extra support instead. But you know, the basic you know bumpers of the team top are, are there, uh, which is that Arissa Torb North and that May. This is gonna be a little bit more traditional bumper instead with love on the Widowmaker, who's gonna be very safe shooting from behind the shield and coming back into the shield if he's going to try to perch up somewhere else. Exactly. A lot of safety here for Grunto's numbers, but that's also a weakness when you're all grouped up behind a single shield. Gladiator's Legion could go the Grunto route and just choose to dive them, but instead, Harblue's going to get a pick on Emil's... Ah, oh, Sabra, this Sabra has, can just not catch a break, man. So unlucky. Whether it's the May, whether it's your supports, whether it's a Brigida taking this Sabra down again and again. Emil needs to get to EMP. We haven't seen Emil EMP just yet. That halt is scary. There is no shield to save them, but Wub wasn't in a position to actually take advantage of such a great halt coming from that Arissa. Cameron, who's been, you know, quietly consistent throughout this series so far. A little bit aggressive there at the end of the last attack for Grunto, but for the time being, I've actually really liked his Arissa more, more so than his other main tanks, which is a sentence we don't say very often. So I wonder what that means. Gladiator's <laughs> Legion now are going to try to get to those ultimates, but looking at Cam versus Stand 1, 24 versus 49, Rolf and Rob Dab are a little bit closer, but in the end, Grunto Esports, I think, are going to have a little bit of an advantage until this TP comes up, which is still 70% away. I know, you're playing for a win condition that seems miles away from you. That's going to be disheartening. However, Water can have an opportunity. Dragon Strike nearly online. It could certainly flush Grunto, at least from the high ground. And there we go, Dalton. He's like, I'm done waiting for you, Emil, man. I'm taking our team's destiny into my own hands. So now they still have to deal with Wub on the high ground, though, who has taken water out of the sustain. I think the Reds is going to be invested in him as Wub. Going to continue peppering in that damage. Stand one, because of Wub, is going to go down as well. He's got to come up again, and Wub does it. One more kill, and Grunto could hold on at this defense, and the rest of his team are trying to get him there, but they are unable to do it. Wub, almost the hero. Man, I miss watching Widow headshots like that, man. Especially when both of them are feeling it, where every time they click that mouse, you're like, in my head. Is it? Is it? It's is gonna it going to happen? Headshot. And right. two out of the three there at the very end were for what, but he needed three for three to get that defense going. Unfortunately, Grunto Esports unable to do that. And fortunately for Gladiators, Legion Emil finally has an EMP that yeah. they're going to be able to use here at the very end of the point, which is crossing for them, but only a minute in the timing for them. The EMP does He's already in the air, so he's not going to be affected by it. And that you can go into the rest of the team. The EMP definitely could have found more value there. Pulled the trigger, was probably just like really excited to have it. That's what I do because I only develop one EMP a game. And so, <laughs> Grunto Esports now 
finding that defense against Gladiator's Eden and Neil switching off that Sombra. Wub wanting that duel so bad, but he doesn't want it as bad as he wants to stay alive. Cameron cleans up the Widow kill, and Grunto stand their ground here. Didn't even really need that Blizzard, but Gladiator's Legion maybe pop in their ultimates a little bit too overheatedly. Neil wasn't able to hit Rob, the crucial piece of oh that God. Grunto defense. And again, res from Bloody. All he's been doing is patching the holes in the Legion comp because of the picks from Grunto. And Wub is just like magnetized to this head. So you're seeing it just in the tracking, right? He's not aiming where the Orisa head is at. He's aiming where it's going to be. And most of the time, it's working out for him. Gladiators leaped and haven't really been able to figure out how to break through with Wub. It's been Dalton doing it on his own. And I think he's. They're gonna need to find a pick, either Dalton or Water, onto anybody for Grunto Esports, but they're playing this bunker so very well. And look at even just Car Blue, everyone is doing their job. Grunto Esports is killing it right now. Water does find that kill onto the Arisa, and the res is out. So this is an opening that Gladiators could potentially take, but looking at check marks, there aren't any. Zamil's gonna get beat next. Yeah. Torb does go down though, so that's going to be a man advantage for Gladiator's Legion. I'm not sure they want to push in just yet. The Infrasight has worn down for Wub. Vision so crucial here in that sniper battle. You could see he was waiting for Dalton to beat, but Dalton respects Wub and is forced to drop simply because the ultimate is out. Water now though does have the high ground. He's an extremely capable Hanzo here, but gets taken out by the flying spider herself. And Grunto have worn Legion down to less than a minute. These Widowmakers are doing a work, but I think the res tempo has been better for Grunto Esports so far. The way that they've gotten to utilize the res has been just so much more valuable to Gladiator's Legion as Grunto on the defensive side are going to benefit from that anyway, right? Whereas Gladiator's Legion have to risk themselves, go into enemy territory potentially, get that res off, and then Grunto Esports get to react to that every single time. Oh, sides now popped here. For Legion, looking for the kills here. The wall is down. That's going to be one cooldown away, but Harbour still holds on to the Blizzard. Will there be anybody alive, though, to capitalize Dalton taking the Zenyatta out? But Zolik manages to get it. Emil eats the Blizzard. Emil eats the Blizzard. When was the last time you saw that, my friends? The Siders need to definitely have the advantage here on the point, but Wub going to get another kill onto Stand One. you got to deal with this Widowmaker as he is braiding bullets from above into your head and back into spawn. You're going to be dreaming about it from oh. here on out. Whoop, my friend, you are a star on Grunto Esports. That is how you put a team on at your back. And the thing is, is your team didn't even really need it as Grunto Esports off of some beautiful, amazing, divine Widowmaker play coming in from Wub. You got to credit Cameron for setting up those halt and headshots, right? We got to get a name for that. Uh -huh. And just everyone else running interference. Like you got the May wall as well. It's just making these headshots that much easier for Wub. And in that situation, your guy has to hit the shots and their guy, Wub, was hitting those shots. So congratulations, my friend. Wub, you had a, I think, star making day just now. Wubba dub dub, five kills in the tub. I mean, there's really nothing you can do against somebody who's feeling that, who has so mechanically talented. Like, wh what do you do? You can only, you can either, tr there's like kind of a few ways to, you know, deal with a Widowmaker. And one of them is you can either try and outwidow them not happening. I love you, Dalton, but like that, it just wasn't happening. The head to head battle always favored Wub. Mm -hmm. And if that's not going to be the case, if you don't have your own Widowmaker who could stand toe to toe, then you need to be able to close the distance, make that Widowmaker uncomfortable. We actually saw, of all teams, Phase Two doing that really well against Bermuda in today's first series, right? Just make it so she can't ever be comfortable, can't ever take the best shots that she wants. And not, Wub was so comfortable. He was like, you know, planting plants in the back line right there. He had so much space and so much time that it was only, you know, it wasn't a matter of if, but when he was going to hit those headshots. And unfortunately, Gladiator's Legion just couldn't quite figure out how to keep him caged. Wow, Gladiator's Legion down 0-2 to two right now against Gr Grunto Esports. And that's not something that I expected to say. Like, honestly, like, coming into this game, because Grunto is finding another gear, man. Like, they they are playing better Shifting than I think I've gear, ever man. seen them. And the funny thing is, is Harblue on this, like, May, May is just, like, putting walls up. It's just like, cool, I'm here. 
right? Yeah, we <laughs> like, got Blizzard guys, just in case. Well, I'm right? sure he's contributing a lot more to his team, but visually, that's kind of what it looks like. But we do have to get to the half. Gladiators Legion and Grunter are going to take a break. Wub's going to get some pats on the back, and Gladiators Legion are going to have to find a way to deal with this widow. That is priority number one. You've got six minutes to get there. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> 